Inflammatory response is the body's natural defense mechanism and a reaction to tissue injury, infection, or irritation, but not in the way you might think. It is a complex physiological process involving cells, chemicals, and blood vessels working together to protect the body and facilitate healing. While inflammation is an essential part of the immune system's response to harmful stimuli, chronic inflammation is bad for your health. Several factors can trigger an inflammatory response, including physical trauma, pathogens like bacteria or viruses, autoimmune disorders, and exposure to toxins. When the body detects these threats, immune cells release chemicals like histamines, prostaglandins, and cytokines. These substances dilate blood vessels, resulting in increased blood flow to the affected area. They also cause blood vessels to become more permeable, allowing immune cells to migrate to where they are needed. This leads to typical symptoms of inflammation, such as redness, swelling, heat, and pain. Here are 10 ways inflammation affects the body and what you can do about it. The liver. Chronic inflammation eventually causes enlarged liver or fatty liver, triggering increased toxic loads within the body. The lungs. Inflammatory responses induce an autoimmune response in the lining of the airways, potentially triggering asthma and other lung issues. The thyroid. An inflamed thyroid causes autoimmunity, reduces thyroid receptor counts, and disrupts thyroid hormone production. The muscles. Cytokines inflame and cause muscle aches and pains. The muscles become weak, resulting in diseases like polymyalgia. The gut. An excessively inflamed gut interferes with normal intestinal lining function, potentially causing Crohn's disease and celiac disease. The brain. Cytokines resulting from excess inflammatory action produce autoimmune reactions inside the brain. This may cause depression, memory issues, and even Alzheimer's and autism. The bones. Bone regeneration is interrupted in an inflammatory environment, weakening bones and increasing the likelihood of fractures and osteoporosis. The skin. An inflamed body affects normal kidney and liver function, manifesting as dermatitis, rashes, acne, and eczema. The kidneys. Cytokines cause restrictive blood flow inside the kidneys, producing edema, hypertension, and possibly even kidney failure. The heart. Inflammatory response in the heart exasperates heart disease, damaging arterial and venous walls. It also triggers anemia, stroke, and high blood sugar, eventually leading to diabetes. Here is what you can do. While inflammatory response is necessary for healing, the effects on the body discussed here have serious health implications. Lifestyle factors, such as poor diet, smoking, stress, and lack of exercise, contribute to chronic inflammation. Foods that cause inflammation should be avoided or limited. This includes acid-forming processed foods high in trans fats, refined sugars, and artificial additives. Protein-dense foods like red meat, processed meats, fried foods, and excessive use of alcohol should all be avoided too. A raw vegan diet consisting of mainly ripe organic fruits, melons, berries, vegetables, sprouted seeds and nuts, grains, and healthy fats like those found in olive oil, coconuts, and avocados are generally all considered anti-inflammatory. Thanks for watching and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Raw foods work!